So in previous lectures, um, we did uh, create a SharePoint site and we uh, uh, did the permissions. Of course, we added the web parts and um, added some styling on it. Uh, most of it is very basic, but it kind of gives you an idea of how to build a site uh, from scratch on SharePoint online. The next thing we're going to do here is um, apart from the permissions, you can do a few other things. You can add a page on this site. So this is a landing, but maybe you have groups within that landing that you want them to have their own pages. And this is not like another site, it's just a page. Uh, so you can do that, add a page, and you can choose from one of these uh, built in. If it's something visual, you're trying to create something that has more images, you can see there. Uh, choose something like that test page um, and once you give it that and save it as a draft already that takes the URL there so you can see the test page URL okay so of course we're gonna publish it directly you can do a few things on this page that you can either you can edit it and just uh, do a few things again the interface uh, the editing you know the sidekicks here for editing is just the same you know basically you edit that web part it gives you different formats that you can do um you can republish every time you edit or you can save as a draft you know and um you can do other things here just you can enable or disable comments and once you're happy with that you can just go ahead and uh, uh, go back to your site there and you should be able to uh, find it under pages so as long as it shows up it should be able to show up here and you can see that pages show up as a list and I'll show you more on that uh, but for the most part, that's how you add a page on a SharePoint site. Of course, when you come to um, this location, you can also be able to create a page from there. So you can say add a site page. And you can have there as test to. And once you publish that page, that page should also be included on the pages sites here that's a good way of also adding pages and um, then you can go ahead and work on edit and update the content as you wish on that page and if you want to reference that page as news then you can always tag it here or if you want it as a resource you can tag it there you know you can do a few things here and there so add a page you can do the same for adding an app now an app basically brings in functionality think of it as you would think of single page applications uh, the only difference here it's an app you're embedding on a page and that brings in the functionality and you can scroll in there and you can see there's so many apps uh, some of the most common apps is teams you know use jira you probably want to to have some tickets uh, showing the updates whenever they updated in, on jira the update also shows up on a team site um, you have um, some of the best apps of the year here it's probably mind maps process automation when it comes to communications you can add a few maps here you can add different calendar maps um, you can have project management apps here and SharePoint has a lot of maps, but there's a whole marketplace for SharePoint where developers are developing applications that are being used here to make uh, life easy. But again, SharePoint has a lot. And so you can add most of this functionality here. Again, you come to this side, you can add a page, you can add an app. Uh, we'll talk more about site contents. Uh, basically, this is just uh, where metadata and being able to group and, uh, and just taxonomy basically being able to uh, set up uh, searchable content and being able to uh, 
give identity to content and types and stuff. And then, of course, um, we'll talk more about uh, performance and maybe templates here we're changing uh, look. All right. Well, uh, again, if you're learning something, just subscribe, share, comment, and uh, just offer suggestions too. Thanks a lot.